As the nation marks this Veterans Day with flags and song, Commissioner Pete Meitzner has a reminder every day on his office wall. There's Bob in the plane on the aircraft carrier Lexington. There he is in the war room. It's in this book, The Blue Ghost. That was the name of the, the Lexington was the nickname. His uncle Bob was killed in World War II. He was a pilot and had a gunner. Ironically, Bob took off. He died, he was t just turned 24, but he had just got married and his wife was pregnant. He was shot down in the Palua Islands. His gunner actually came up and survived. Bob Curry was one of five brothers to Pete's mom, Kitty. The men all served in the war, but in different military branches. Only Bob did not come home to his family. She was, I was just 16, but I looked in the room and they were sobbing together. And mom said it was the first time that she saw her mom break down. Joe, the dad, grew up in Abilene and he was neighbors with Eisenhower family. One of Eisenhower's sisters wrote a message to Ike saying, hey, uh, Joe lost one of his sons. Eisenhower sent this letter and here's the envelope we have. This note is dated June 25th of 1944, which is uh, 19 days after D-Day. So he's running the European World War II, the advance, Normandy, but took a moment to write a note, a personal note about that loss. And to me, it's always, I do a lot of personal note writing instead, and that was always been an inspiration. God bless them all. I think about it off and on. We go over to Calvary Cemetery is where uh, Grandma and Grandpa are buried and Mom and Dad and, and, and all these uncles are buried over there too. So we make a round and we go there and, and we, there's a memorial for, for Uncle Bob right there. Fantastic heroes, all of them. I just can't imagine. Everybody talks about it. And th these guys were, were true heroes, no question.